Hi there, my name is Fallout and I played 50 games in a row of the newest PvP game type, Checkmate. I know it's not that new anymore, these videos take a really long time to make, please forgive me. Would I love it? Hate it? Well, here's what happened. Game number one. I equipped the Max Tryhard MLG Sweatlord loadout, thanked my chat for subs, and gifted an emblem code, which you could have won if you followed me on Twitch. Subtle. And then I launched the game after refusing to reset my Crucible rank, as is tradition. I loaded into my first match and was instantly met with someone on the enemy team quitting. Unfortunately, my teammate almost threw the first round away, but I'm just too freaking on point with these shotgun plays to let that happen. They got their teammate back, but it literally doesn't matter because I wound up popping the hell off this round. I'm also popping a blood vessel because how did this guy tank a direct grenade launcher shot for 221 damage and still kill me? Other than that hiccup, I'm out here clapping cheeks and game one is a win. Game two and I wind up joining a game in progress. Now that's not always a bad thing, we could still be winning. Never mind. I try to dial things up to 11 and we do manage to bring it to overtime, but it doesn't quite work out. Try as we might, my randoms and I can't get anything going and we get stomped out. My KD is decent enough for joining the game late, so I'm at least kind of happy about that. Game three, and I started things off fairly strong. Not sure if it's because my loadout is really good or if I'm basically a checkmate god. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably the loadout. I wind up getting put into a 1v3 where the enemy team also has three extra respawns and unbelievably, I managed to clutch up and get all six kills without dying. Yay, freaking redemption. Game three is a feels good win. Game four, and for the sake of content, I change up my build because conditional igneous is just too good. Thorn is fun, but I'm not sure what I was thinking trying to make an ability heavy build in checkmate. Oh, never mind. we got one. Build's goaded. Overall, my gunplay probably could have been way better, but when the build worked, it worked. Note to self, throwing your shoes at the enemy might be better than using Needle Storm. My teammates leave me to clutch up again, and even though I kill a few, I can't recreate my Game 3 masterpiece. Game 4 is a loss. Game 5, and this game started off on a much stronger note than Game 4. After that whopper of a first round, it seems like the enemy team apparently needed a minute to gather themselves. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. One of my enemies decided they were completely done with all of this and kept running right up to us with arms wide open so we could end the game just a little bit quicker. We, of course, were happy to oblige. Game 5 is a win. Game 6, and I decided to let chat decide my build because there's absolutely no way this could ever go wrong. We somehow landed on Frosty's Strand Hunter, which meant I got to do minimal building, yay. We loaded into the game and somebody already left because of course they did. I go for an absolutely massive slam only to immediately realize I didn't have ensnaring slam equipped. I am smart. For whatever reason, my teammates and I went about as well together as bologna and whipped cream and we wound up getting our cheeks clapped. Game six is a loss. Game seven, and this time I actually remember to put the proper aspect on. Now that I have the slam on, y'all get to watch this beautiful play where I suspend the enemy and then don't kill them because I'm still not used to spawning without that sweet, sweet green. Did I mention I don't play a lot of Strand Hunter? I go for the power ammo, completely forgetting I have a PvE machine gun equipped, and that goes about as well as you would expect. Game 7 is an L. Game 8, and I decide to change my build to something non-chat generated. How about something that everyone will love? An Antaeus Ward Arc Titan. Unfortunately, I learned nothing from playing my hunter and still had the complete wrong build on. This guy lets me know I effed up by showing me the dance of his people. My randoms and I have some trouble getting any momentum going and we get completely rolled by what might be the most tryhard team I've fought so far today. Game eight is a hard loss. So hard, in fact, that for game nine, I've decided I'm going back to my boring OG loadout. After all, there's really only so much bagging a man can take. A teammate winds up leaving mid game as is tradition. But aside from that, surprise, surprise, my totally not overpowered loadout completely manages to shove the other team into a locker. Just remember y'all, I was driven to this. Game 9 is a hard win. Game 10, and you ever have those moments where you completely miss a totally free kill and it ends up haunting your dreams for the next few nights? Yeah, me neither. We lose a nail biter of a tiebreaker, but I think we'll be able to pull off the comeback as long as none of my teammates pointlessly rage quit out of the game. Final round, and one of my teammates pointlessly rage quits out of the game. My non-virgin teammate and I put up a hell of a fight, but there's only so much you can do in a 2v3 and we really hit the wall. Literally. 10 seconds. Nice super there, buckaroo, but I'd be lying if I said I'd never done that myself. Game 10 is a loss. Game 11, and is there a full moon out or something? We've only lost one round and a teammate immediately bails. There must be, because we're now 11 games in and I keep forgetting I actually have to earn my shotgun ammo. Eventually, we get a new teammate and finally start pulling the game in our favor. We have life advantage with under 20 seconds left in the round and all we have to do is simply not engage with the enemy and we won't lose. Ton just the same. You have one last shot at survival. I hate this game. Game 12, and after that incredible display of 
gamerism, I load into the next match only to immediately be greeted by another teammate leaving. Why does this keep happening? Anger may somehow be fueling me because I start laser focusing up and popping the hell off. My other teammate decides he's out too, and now that it's just me, I suddenly realize I don't have to worry about my teammates feeding anymore. I gain the lead and play keep away, winning the round by myself. Eventually, I get new teammates, and even though I missed the solo challenge, we proceed to beat their ass like a Cherokee drum. We won fast and hard, just the way I like it. Game 13, and there's an indescribable joy of when you perfectly flush out a hiding enemy with a grenade. It's like turning the lights on at 2 a.m. and watching the roaches scatter. After round two, it seemed like this game would get wrapped up pretty decisively, right up until their titan threw this god-tier grenade and won them the round because I was too effing slow to drop my well. The other team manages to bring it back to a 2-2 tie, which this guy celebrates by having a stroke. Thankfully, we managed to re-grab the reins and collectively knock them around. Could have ended that game a little sooner, but a win is a win. Game 14, and I choose one person in the chat to pick my loadout because apparently I didn't learn my lesson. They choose Peacekeeper and Teraba, which is fine because I never planned on getting into heaven anyway. Hey teammate, pull. Destiny skeet shooting, more fun than Gambit. I must be having a good day though because I'm actually hitting sniper shots on MK through flinch. Surely it must be a fluke, right? If I hit the shot, we all get laid tonight. All of you are welcome. Game 14 is a win. Game 15, and you'd think a big open map like this would mean SMGs wouldn't shine, but this is Destiny, so you'd be dead wrong. The enemy team is crouch spamming like a Wolverine on PCP, but one does not simply escape Taraba. Even though I'm doing pretty damn decent, the other team is clearly a three stack, and their communication is very on point. The game clearly over at this point, I put out a teabag peace offering, which is promptly rejected. Oh well, game 15 is a loss. I'm gonna be real, game 16 was pretty uninteresting. I whiffed melees got flinched, got bamboozled, and got teabagged. Suffice to say, my randos and I couldn't really make anything happen, and game 16 is a quick loss. Oh well. Game 17, and I want to change loadouts, but I also can't end the Terraba streak on a loss. Round 1 was pretty uneventful, mostly just me running around being a cameraman and chasing guardians who really like to run away from me. For the third round, I took a more indoors approach, positioning myself so I wouldn't take any back shots. Hey, yo! Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Shut up. Being braver than I was, my teammates pushed out and allowed me to slip in to clean things up. The enemy warlock decides to panic pop super at the same time I do, and unfortunately, nothing beats the extreme titan high five. Game 17 is a win. Game 18, and I decide I can now show my hunter some love and throw on the mechaneer's trick sleeves with Devil's Ruin to make chat happy. Turns out in a game mode where you don't spawn in with special ammo, a weapon that's basically half special does pretty damn well. With mechaneer's and reloader mods, I'm actually getting whiplash with how freaking fast this thing can manage to reload and let me laser spam. I'm definitely having fun. <laughs> but after getting sniped through flinch, and getting clapped with heavy ammo, and dying to a glaive, Game 18 ends up being a loss. Moving on to game 19, I'm running it back with double primary for reasons I can't fully explain. My aim with the ruin was a bit more on point this game, which I'm happy about. Hey, look, it's Gamer Girl Grey. I know that person. God damn, I love this exotic. Aw, oh, man, she lagged out. Uh, I'm assuming. Not gonna lie, this game was rough. For the enemy team, I mean. 3v2, and my teammates are playing like a bunch of savages. This lobby balancing can't be good. There's a Guardian rank 2 on the other team, which I assume you unlock by getting out of bed in the morning. Game 19 is a win. Don't mess with the meme beam supreme. Game 20, and if you think I'm taking off my beloved short range laser beam on one of the most open maps in the game, you've got another thing coming. While the town is mid, oh, brother. my shots sure as hell aren't. Well, for the most part, I guess. While talking to my Twitch chat, I end up almost throwing the game the exact same way I got mad at a teammate for doing back in game 11. Thankfully, I have the chance to atone for my crimes and clutched up for the win. You're welcome, teammates. Game 21, and I'm still having fun lasering people, so I'm not changing the loadout. God, I love this thing so very damn much. Despite my best efforts, we dropped the first round to a mf -er using Jade Rabbit. I didn't know those people still existed. I have to let them know that I don't take kindly to scout rifles and melt their eyebrows off with a triple kill so satisfying it'll live rent-free in my memories for the next few days. This situation is is what we in the industry like to call, I'm so f but maybe if I just stay real still, he won't notice me. Ah, raspberries. Game 21 is unfortunately a loss, but is it really a loss if you went totally ham in comparison to the rest of your team? Haters would say, yes, yes it is. Game 22, and I wasn't about to let that be my last game with Devil's Ruin, so I decided to run it back. For real this time. Hey, Gamer Girl Grey is back, and this time it looks like she's meshing with her teammates way more. That means I can feel less guilty about beaming everyone within a 15 meter radius. Hey, what beats one giant flaming sword? About two dozen tiny flaming knives, and a little bit of extra laser for good measure. I laser spam 
them just a little bit more to close things up, and game 22 is a win. 21 kills, and I'm good on lasering for now. Let's switch it up. And by switch it up, I mean guarantee my one-way ticket to hell with Le Monarch Oathkeeper in game 23. God, this all feels so disgusting, like walking in the shoes of a serial killer. We lost the first round, and I can't help but feel like I deserved it. I somehow lost to Skyburner's Oath? Wild times out here in Checkmate, that's for sure. Once again, Hot Knives beat Hot Sword. It's satisfying every time. Teammate and I brought it to a 2v2, then to a 1v1, which I promptly threw. Fair enough, I feel like I kind of deserved that loss. Game 24, and oh sh**. I can't really describe the feeling of embarrassment of running into a good PvP playing friend when I'm using the loadout that I'm currently using. It's kind of like if your Italian friend was walking down the street and locked eyes with you through the window of an olive garden. I guess with all the laser shenanigans I just pulled, me getting caught with my pants down on the forbidden bow was me getting my just desserts. Apparently Drew is streaming and his Twitch chat had redeemed points for him to teabag me, which is appalling, not the getting bagged part, but the fact that the internet would demand this kind, starry-eyed Canadian boy go against his polite nature. We have a good laugh about it though, and I decide to maybe put on a loadout I wouldn't be ashamed of being caught with. Game 25, and after entering real gamer hours, I swapped back to the tried and true Sweat Lord special. Conditional finality and igneous hammer, baby. After the L last game, I can now use it without feeling guilty at all, and god does it feel good. Oh, completely balanced shotgun, how I missed you so. I wish I'd had this loadout on when I matched the PvP closer, who's also a hoser. This thing is straight up making people quit. I decide that there's too much fighting in the world, and to instead watch this beautiful crayon eater in its natural habitat up close. Majestic creatures they are. Game 24 and 25 are polar opposites, but a win is a win. Game 26, and I kick things off by winning maybe one of the dumbest slapboxing matches ever that I had absolutely no business of winning. Ah, nice, a two life lead with 20 seconds left. All we have to do is not challenge. Mother this team is really going for it, and it all comes down to the final round. A strand hunter really wants to come give me a big green hug, and I have to let him know that I'm really just not that into him. I pop my well so I don't take it to orbit, and this game is all wrapped up with a neat little bow on top. Hey, quit copying me, guy. Game 27, and not only do I open up with a few crispy 120 shots, I also have the king of the pirates on my team? Awesome. I'm playing pretty A-OK, -okay, and we're now up two to zip almost immediately. Man, we'd have to play like a bunch of morons to throw this lead. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I'm trying to hold my well for later in the final round, but that didn't work out so well the last two rounds, so I drop it early and hope we can get some momentum going. And if momentum is an old Latin word for suck a dick and fail miserably, then the plan worked beautifully. Game 27 is a heartbreaking L. Game 28, different map, same players, apparently? Wild, but we'll roll with it. This sneaky beaver managed to swipe power right in front of me, but splash damage won't help much when I'm higher than pure chill, baby. Out of pure curiosity, I want to see what rubber pirate boys bring to a game of checkmate. What in the name of elitist f***ing dado am I looking at here? I guess every pirate has got to start somewhere. We're already in the lead, but I'm having absolutely no chance of a repeat of last game. We bury the other team deep in the snow, and game 28 is a win. Game 29, and just to keep us on our toes, Bungie starts the game with a 30 second black screen. Now that's what I call innovation. Looks like we're going up against pro tax evader. Might as well call me tax, because I swear this dude is evading all of my shots. I take a page out of the Ra's al Ghul playbook and teach this guy to mind his surroundings and we are really looking good right now. Hey, did you know that you can freeze a thunder crashing titan in their super and they can still kill you even though they've been frozen? Why do I ask? Oh, no reason. No reason at all. Game 29 is a win. Game 30. And now that we've popped off a few times, I open my loadout up to suggestion again and chat comes up with wish ender hand cannon swapping. But because I'm not a horrible person, I have difficulty making this loadout work. Remember kids, when in doubt, blame the loadout. I'll admit, it's good when it works, but what have I become? Out of clear blue sky, a teammate quits. Now it really feels like checkmate. Hey, quick pop quiz. Which way will this guy go, left or right? Time's up. Surprised I caught him going up? Yeah. So was he. Not really vibing the loadout though, and game 30 unfortunately is a loss. Real quick, is there a dumpster fire fashion commendation? Bungie should get on that. I decided that game 31 would be a palate cleanser, which meant going back to the one true loadout. I swear this titan is running 20 resilience because he just would not die. There are times I get so distracted with how good this damn loadout feels that I lose focus on things, like this big old titan running in to clap my cheeks. We are doing good, and once we had just one enemy left, my teammates dropped a bubble on the poor guy for maximum 
disrespect. Game 31 is a win. Game 32 and meme builds are back on the menu, starting with Cryosthesia and Shadebinder. Nothing I love more than using a sidearm on everyone's favorite close range map, Radiant Cliffs. Whiffing the Cryo Frozen shot will never not be a pain felt deep in my soul. I call bullshit. I finally wind up tagging someone with the cryo shot, but then immediately regret having brought a shotgun. To top it all off, I missed my freeze burst because of melee lunge and we lost the game. Yay! Game 33 and I'm swapping shotgun for BXR. Yeah, double primary, but I swear it somehow makes sense in my head. I'll have you know that what you're witnessing right now is not camping. It's a tactical delay of engagement using time-gated resources as bait. Know the difference! Aha! See, I told you it somehow made sense in my head. We have a plus two life advantage with 15 seconds left and will win as long as my teammates don't engage, so you can probably guess what happens. At this point, it wouldn't feel like checkmate if that didn't happen every other game. Fortunately, my teammates make up for the transgression and game 33 is a win. Game 34 and Chad is peer pressuring me to go full on cami and put on the fighting lion. 38 damage? I'd be better off trying to damage them emotionally. Let me get my mom on the phone. Damage isn't that bad when I hit them with the nade. Makes sense if you think about it, because I would have had people knocking at my door if this thing hit any harder. Someone in chat says I have to do a 360 before my next fighting lion shot, so I did. 360. <laughs> Tell me the truth, am I a bad person? Two people rage quit in game 34 is a win. Game 35 and I decided the lion was too fun to be tamed so soon, which meant I'm running it back. It might have gone better if my teammates weren't just running past the enemy. Man, this build is fun. Yeah, the hand cannon crouching is totally carrying the fight, but we got a little bit of lion in there. We might not have gotten the 3-0, but chest bumping this dude off the map totally made up for it. Game 35 is a win. Game 36 and I'm mixing things up and jumping over to Titan, featuring a very respectful and totally not a meme build. My loadout is clearly so funny that someone on the other team left. From laughing so hard, I bet. We reached the point where two players have quit out of the game, but the remaining guy is on a mission from God to get revenge, and he dials his gameplay up to 11. This guy is playing pick and run so well, he makes me close up business, so to speak. No longer encumbered by other players to feed my team, this guy picks my teammates off and keeps running away, actually managing to win by running and playing the clock with life advantage. Hey, at least somebody out here knows how to. Game 37, and I'm running back sweet business while now hoping that no one on the other team quits. Unfortunately, I was trapped in the endless checkmate cycle of using good weapons, getting bored of good weapons, switching to meme weapons, then feeling bad for using meme weapons, and next thing I know, we're suddenly down 2-0. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Hipfire Sweet Business on mouse and keyboard. Nailed it. Someone in the chat tells me to put on a real build, but this is a real build. Real build, real bubbles, real gamers, real wins. GG. Game 38, and I transition out of business mode and jump back over to Hunter, and at the request of my chat, went with Stompies and Jotun. However, I'd forgotten that Stompies only work when you have your dodge charged. Naturally, I got hit once and dodged, turning these boots made for jumping into boots made for walking. Thanks to my teammate, we took the first round of tiebreaker, which meant I got to full blast my toaster for a whopping 73 damage. Their last guy flew in with a sword, but it it wasn't enough to stop us from winning the game. GG. Game 39, and mixing things up again, I whip out something I haven't used in a dog's age, knucklehead radar. With my exotic helmet on, I can now clearly see that this was a bull game in progress that I joined into where we were already down a round with no life advantage, and they had special. Nice. Good news was that I was able to make up some distraction plays so that my teammates could tie it up. The bad news is we lost life advantage and this game is over pretty quick. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Game 40 and fine, one more game with Jotun. One of the enemy players has gone AFK out of the blue, but I'm strangely okay with it. Some guy tries to avoid me rocket killing him by jumping and ends up going so hard he just launches himself into the abyss. Thanks, dude. Hitting a toaster shot does make me feel all warm and fuzzy inside, but I still hate it. To cap it off, I got a perfect dust field bait grenade that bumps some poor guy off the map. Game 41, and I polled my chat for what weapons to use next and was suggested DMT and a sidearm. Hashtag Drang Gang, baby. I'm having kind of a difficult time warming up Drang on mouse and keyboard. But in just a few minutes, I managed to completely out BR this random thorn user, so woo, progress. I'm experimenting with different sidearms, but none of them really hit the same as Devil's Ruin. My DMTing is hit or miss, but man, when you get a kill with that rifle, I really feel the ye boiling up in my haws. My teammate completely body blocks me when I try to get out of an engagement, but who cares, cause game 41 is a win. Game 42, 
and things are starting out rough as my team can barely manage to get out of spawn. I've learned that DMT apparently isn't a three tap kill and checkmate and I can't tell you how much that yucks my yum. I'm still managing to hit some pretty nice shots with it, but they did my boy dirty. Man, it doesn't get much worse than getting a crispy hip fire three tap just for nothing to happen because checkmate. My teammates almost follow the time honored tradition of throwing the lead away by pushing for no reason, but Lady Luck finally intervenes. Too bad we wound up losing anyway. Hey, at least he didn't take it to orbit, I guess. Maybe a little earlier next time, my G. Game 43, and at my chat's request, I throw on the last word while we load into one of the largest, most open maps in the game. Surely I won't end up regretting this decision immediately. We haven't taken one life off the other team yet in round one, and I'm regretting this decision immediately. Maybe it'll be better on M&K? Spoiler alert, it wasn't. I must not have prayed hard enough to cami cakes. Game 43 is the quickest L of my life. Let us move on and never speak of it again. Game 44, and let's run it back, except this time let's use a real hand cannon. Right out the gate, I'm already hitting shots no problemo, but it still wasn't a three tap? It's like Bungie wants me to sell my soul and use only Igneous. The enemy team has life advantage with 20 seconds left, but they make a huge misplay and overcommit, throwing their lead into the garbage and putting us up two to one. Why do I have the oddest feeling of deja vu? We finally gained the lead. Now all we have to do is not engage. Oh God, why the hell did I engage? I've become everything that I hate. I managed to slink away and game 44 is a win. Game 45 and I decided to keep the same loadout going because Ace does feel accurate like always. Unfortunately, needing to four tap with Ace continued to make me weep on the inside. I hopped up to a classic midtown troll spot only to be completely robbed of a sneaky headshot. My legal team will be in touch, Bungie. Hey, maybe they'll fall for it a second time? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I know it may come as a shock, but game 45 is a loss. Game 46, and I really enjoyed that loadout, but I swapped over to Thorn because I'm feeling a little toxic. <laughs> Things started out pretty nicely, but then it immediately turned around when, what else, a teammate decided to quit. Hey, is that a rocket in your back pocket or are you just happy to see me? Not quite sure how I managed to shut down a thunder crashing titan with only a thorn, but it feels pretty good. A guy tries to catch me with my pants down, but I simply stick the sniper barrel into his belly button and problem solved. Game 46 is a win. I was super digging the thorn, so I carried it over to game 47. I get a nice, uninterrupted 1v1 with my thorn, only to have some jabroni pop out of nowhere and ruin the fun. I guess he really is lucky. I get completely ripped out of midair, but managed to redeem myself with a protect the power snipe and helping my team from falling too far behind. Is it toxic to solo super someone right at the beginning of a round? Maybe, but is it fun? Absolutely. Unfortunately, the other team rolls hard in the final round and I'm left in a brutal 1v5 only to get rolled by power ammo. GG, game 48. And you know what? No more fooling around. I've done enough experimenting and I've had enough heartbreak. I'm putting back on the loadout and I'm feeling good about it. At least I was until I loaded into a game in progress where we're down 0 to 2 off. Yeah, dude. Gave it my best shot, but it's kind of hard when the other team already has so much momentum. Getting gunned down by a bagging SMG Titan named Zimothy after joining a game in the final minute might be the most Destiny 2 thing that's ever happened to me. Game 48 is a what the hell was I supposed to do L. Game 49, and thank the good lord, it's not a game in progress. Great news, everyone. I am officially better than the entirety of Kazakhstan. Even though we're really behind, we managed to stay together and rip the enemy team up in round three. Don't call it a comeback. I'm not gonna lie, this TTV guy on my team is lighting up the kill feed nonstop and playing some of the best destiny of his life. An aggressive well play here, a side of chaos reach there, and we wrap up game 49 with an awesome reverse sweep. Good game, Nader, wherever you may be. Game 50, and you might be thinking, damn, is Fallout really gonna end the last three games with the same loadout? To which I responded by swapping to round robin sniper rifle. You don't know me. We're back where it all started on eternity. It's poetic, really. Maybe it's because I knew I was at the end, but I felt like I was playing on point. Unfortunately, I got caught way out of position and went down 0-1. Man, it would be crazy if I made up for it with a solo 1v3 round robin ace. Hell yeah. My teammate and I are in some weird trance together and we keep team shooting within a nanosecond of each other. We even have the same KD. This is getting freaky. You know I'm in try hard mode when I'm sniping on M&K and actually managing to land headshots. You know, maybe one day I'll solve the mystery of why the fuck do people hold on to their supers so long in the final round? My teammates hold on to their supers for the entire last round, but we wind up winning the game anyway. Oh yeah, now you pop your supers? F you. That's my kill. Go get your own. 23 opponents on the board in game 50 is a win. Let me know how you think I did down in the comment section. And while you're down there, give the video a like and also let me know what other games you'd like to see me do a 50 games of. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.